five theories for how Milner can return in Thor 4. The filming of Thor 4 has been happening in full flow. Chris Hemsworth's stunt double was recently seen practicing with Mjolnir. We already know that Thor's former favorite weapon is returning to the MCU with Jane Foster, but knowing about it and actually seeing it in action are two different things. We're pretty excited for the return of the hammer, and here are a few theories for how it could make its way back into the MCU. Eitri Back in Avengers Infinity War, we saw Eitri forging the Stormbreaker. But at the same time, he also forged a second weapon which many of us completely missed out on. The Molten Uru was poured into two different molds. And before you say it, no, the second mold was not for the handle. The handle was supposed to be wooden, so maybe the second mold was for Mjolnir. This could be the safest and most sensible way to bring Mjolnir back. But if it doesn't work for you, then I've got a few other fancy theories for you. Here's the second one. Jane reforms it. They say beyond whoever is worthy will possess the power of Thor! In War of the Realms storyline, Volstagg wielded the hammer of the ultimate Thor, but Mangog shattered it into pieces just like Hela did in Ragnarok. After that, Jane just approached the handle of the broken hammer and she was able to pick it up. What's more is that the broken shards of the hammer magically transformed back into Mjolnir. This could be how Jane becomes worthy in Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Ragnarok was the last time we saw the original Mjolnir. It was shattered in Norway, which is now known as New Asgard. Those shards could still be there. Those shards could still be there. And for some reason, Jane might revisit New Asgard and the hammer could reform just like it did in the books. Theory 3. Loki brings it back. Thor's younger brother has been an integral part of the Thor franchise. After playing the villain in the first film, he has had a redemption arc in the next two Thor movies. In fact, he saved Thor three times after the Avengers. Since we are supposed to follow Loki in his own series, we could see him go through yet another redemption arc. There's a big chance that Loki won't be saving Thor in this new timeline. So maybe Thor will die in it. And that's where Loki's redemption could begin. Asgard will be left defenseless after Thor so Loki could go on to defend his realm. That could ultimately unlock his worthiness. It's doubtful that even his final heroic self from Infinity War would have become worthy of the hammer. But maybe he will be able to lift Mjolnir in the new timeline. And eventually, he could bring it to the original timeline in Thor 4. Theory 4. The Multiverse I just stated that Thor might die in Loki's timeline. So in the same way, what if there's another timeline out there where Thor died, and Jane proved to be worthy of his power? Here she could have wielded Mjolnir because she believed that the universe shouldn't be without a Thor. This Jane from an alternate timeline could somehow enter the main MCU timeline. Now to solve the problem of two Janes, the original Jane could have died of cancer after being the host of Aether for a while. And after that, the second Jane from the multiverse will unite with the love that she lost in her timeline. The same would happen for Thor of the main MCU timeline. He lost his love similarly. So his union with the second Jane could tell us the true meaning of love and thunder. Several projects of the MCU are running through the multiverse concept. WandaVision is setting it up. Homecoming 3 and Doctor Strange 2 will continue with it. So it's entirely possible that Thor love and thunder could also involve a multiverse element. Theory 5. Flashbacks I knew it. Taika Waititi did reveal that Jane Foster will be wielding Mjolnir in Thor 4. But what if all that was just a front? What if Jane is supposed to wield an entirely new weapon and Mjolnir only returns in the flashbacks? I've just showed you how Eitri forged two weapons in Avengers Infinity War. So his second mold could have been for an entirely new weapon called Thunderstrike. Odin granted the Thunderstrike mace to Jane in the animated series Avengers Assemble. So she could end up wielding that in the MCU as well. In the meanwhile, Mjolnir could only return in the flashbacks. Thor revealed that he is 1500 years old, so there is a chance that he could share a history with Gore the God Butcher, and his historic battles would be where we see the return of the magical hammer. I'm not fully in support of this particular theory. Also, there is a chance that time travel could be involved, but since the MCU has already done that in Endgame, I don't believe they'll repeat it. My personal preference is the first one. What's yours? Tell us in the comments. And make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube for more exclusive content. Thanks. We'll see you in the next one.